So the other day, while looking to see if JavaScript had a compare type function like Lucy or Adobe Code Fusion, I came across the locale compare method. Now I had never seen this locale compare method, and as I was reading through the documentation, I noticed that it allows for a set of additional options, at least in all the modern browsers, one of which is numeric. Now if you pass in numeric true as an option to locale compare, it uses numeric collation, which means that it actually ends up treating numbers as numbers, even when those numbers are embedded inside of a string. And this is super exciting because it allows us to create a quote unquote natural sort with little or no effort, really. So to compare, um, I wanted to look at how this uh, matches up against a sort of native greater than less than type sort. Um, so what I have, and let's just jump into the browser first so we can get a context here. So what I've set up is I have a collection of string values, and you can see that some of these strings are just letters, and then some of them are just numbers, and then some of them are a mixture of strings and numbers. Now, to be clear, these numbers are actually strings, right? If we jump into the code and we look at the um, declaration of the values, all of the values here are actually strings, so none of them are numbers themselves. So what I have now is the option to sort these uh, either ascending or descending with case sensitive, case insensitive using a, a normal sort. And that's sort of the less than greater than approach that I would build manually. And then you also have the option to use a locale compare sort again with ascending, descending and case insensitivity. So if we use the basic sort, and let's just jump into the implementation here. So that's using this normal sort operator well, you can see if a is equal to b, I'm returning zero, and then I'll use the less than sign here to say that a is less than b. I want to return a negative one, indicating that a should sort before b, or a one, indicating that b should sort before a. And when we use this normal sort, what we're seeing here is that values like nine are sorting after values like 500, right? We can see in both cases here. And that's because these numbers are now being treated as strings. So the ASCII character 9 sorts after the ASCII character 5, which is why that we get this sort, even though as humans we understand that this 500 should come after this 9, even though it's in a collection of strings. Now let's compare this to the locale compare based operator with the numeric option. And what we can see now is that the numbers are sorted naturally as numbers even when they're embedded within strings, right? Zero comes before nine, 30.5 comes before, sorry, before 30.30, .30, right? The dot 0.5 comes before 0.30. Um, actually, is that? Yes, that's real, sorry. I'm confusing myself. Um, and we can see here that when they're coming, when the numbers are coming as part of a larger, more obvious string, Again, we get that zero before the nine and the 500 after the nine. So what we're getting here is a much more natural sort, a much more human friendly sort in which the numbers line up more intuitively with the way humans think about collections of strings. And if we jump down into this uh, implementation, compare A and B, we can see that we're just using the A.locale compare B with the numeric option. Now. Um, while locale compare itself as a function is supported in basically all browsers that anyone would use these days, the extended set of arguments here is not supported in every single browser, though it is in at least Chrome, Firefox, and Safari that I tested on the desktop. Um, I couldn't get Angular to work in IE 11 at all. There seems to be a bug, but uh, this is supposed to be supported in IE 11 as well, according to the Mozilla documentation. Even so, I'm wrapping it in a try catch, and you can see that I'm falling back to using just the base version, which won't really give us as good of a of a, of a natural sort. But you know, I think of this as as a progressive enhancement. So the more modern your browser, the more accurate. Uh, your or the more enjoyable your user experience is going to be. And uh, just to quickly show you how this is being implemented in the Angular portion, um, I'm just telling it to handle a normal sort or a locale compare sort. I'm passing in the direction and whether or not it should be case sensitive. And then these are simply taking the uh, arguments there and figuring out which operator I should use. And then I'm passing that operator off to the uh, dot sort method on the array. So that's going to do an in place sort on those values. 
And both of these methods are doing exactly the same thing. The only difference is which operators they're choosing from. Here's normal and normal no case, inverted normal and inverted normal no case. And here we have compare and compare no case and inverted compared, inverted compare no case. Inverted meaning descending, not ascending. And, uh, and there you go. I'm, I'm super excited about this locale compare method. I can't believe I'd never heard of it before. And uh, since I deal with user-provided strings all the time in my Angular applications, being able to use locale compare to create this more natural sorting uh, with almost no effort is, is just going to make life a whole lot easier for me.